Here is a garden that is used to that is using fish water instead of regular water and from the results it's a more productive results instead of using regular water since it produces more larger amount of produce and more vegetables. The example is using regular water it will only have just made a small amount and while we use the fish water you can see that it's a larger scale and it can be able to have enough strength to lift themselves up in middle air. For example, like that area. Mm -hmm. Here's an also a good example of having beans and vegetables using fish water. They have a larger amount of produce and a more productive results. Here we have another system which is aquaponics. Um, the aquaponics uses the water from down the area where the three tanks are. It's a flow from up here to the back area where the fish, other fish tanks are, the main giant fish tanks. And they flow down here to feed each box individually. And instead of using dirt, we use cinder to help let the water flow and the roots grow out into more, like, spread out more. So this is very good if you want to keep some fish or turbine at the end and it just creates like a lot of energy for the <coughs> Over there we have our chicken. Uh where we use them to help feed. We feed them like bugs such as lizards, geckos, anything that's pumped like around here so that we don't actually have to use chicken feed and it helps give them their life of corn. Right now these are prototypes, windmills and solar panels. We don't have them functional at the moment. Yeah. But right Did now, you guys, you guys made these? Actually during the summer we actually did make these. How did you make them? Actually, we just grabbed like, any factory goods and put them together. So instead of just buying the actual windmill, we have to do recycled goods. So that instead of wasting cash, we actually <laughs> save the amount of money and materials we waste. Excellent. Right now I don't want to go near them because of the smell.